this is Party Bots United. Uh, so previously, we always had uh, Node Bots at JavaScript conference. But then always what we did was the right-hand side, which were like simple bots, uh, cars that we would, we would give the participants, and they would work on it and make it stylistic. So this time, we wanted to be more adventurous and try something new. So in the first session, what we did was we met, made that so everybody get a uh, clear idea on how to control robots using Node.js. Then what we wanted to do was for them to make a bot that you would use in a party. It can be vaguely uh, at a party, but then it's OK. So we uh, brought a lot of stuff for them. Um, we had poppers. We were hoping to use some flames or fireworks also, but then we didn't. Thank God, I guess. Um, so those are the things. So I'll present two that are two that uh, are here. So this is one of the bots one of the participants made. Uh, it's a clapper. Um, so there's a motor running that raises the uh, wood thing, and then it just claps. Um, the next one is something like a windmill. Uh, so there's a fan. So the idea is when you turn up the turn on the lights at home or the party is finished and everybody turns out the uh, lights, then the fan try, uh, gets blowing. Uh, so that's the idea behind it. Um, so then we'll go into uh, the other demos. Um, so if you can go to the live demo, live view. Yeah, no. So yeah. So this would go be ahead. the first and the second. Um, so yeah. Uh, so this is supposed to be um, a cocktail or a drink maker kind of thing. So the idea is, let's see, first. OK, so the idea is this is supposed to work wireless in the future. Uh, it's supposed to be working wireless. So the idea is when somebody is pouring the water here, it would pour the water there. So if there is a cup, it, it would pour the water there. Uh, in, if you do it really good, it could be something like a magic trick. Um, so that's our first bot that we made. Um, so the second one. <laughs> so the second one is supposed to be something like a, it's, a, it's another variation of a fan. OK. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you, it, it actually blows very good wind. Um, uh, that's all. Our side. All right, so let's now take a look at the, the other four. Uh, who's going to talk about it? So first up, please introduce yourself or yourselves. Uh, so my name's James, and this is Leon. What did you set out to do, and is it the same thing as what it became? Uh, it roughly is. So we started in the morning with a car, uh, and then we decided that this, uh, what looks like a toilet seat, is actually a basketball hoop. Uh, so the concept is like an arcade game where you have a basketball hoop and you shoot it in, except uh, one person can control it, so it makes it difficult for the other person to score. Um, yeah. Passive aggressive basketball hoop. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see it. Let's see it. Okay. Oh, sorry. You want to show? Sure. <laughs> Next up, so, uh, so my name is Avinas, Avinas? and, and uh, I have created a bot uh, that uh, that uses mobile as a controller, and besides it, we can give the voice command like front, back, left, or right, and it will do its job accordingly. So, and this is working. Yeah. Wow.
Yeah, so if I am giving the front, then it will move front. If I will give actually, it will go left, it will go right, and uh, Hold it. Yeah. You hold the mic if you like. Yes. If I will speak front, Whoa. back, left, right. <laughs> so it will. <laughs> For this, I have used uh, Temasis WebRTC SDK. And uh, I am recognizing the voice, and after that, I am sending that to the uh, SDK uh, WebRTC channel. And after that, it is sending the signal to the robot, and it is doing its job accordingly. That's impressive. Did the design change while you were producing it? Did your objective change? Uh, so or this, did, you, did the intention change while you were building it, or is this more or less what you set out to produce? Um, actually. Uh, we can uh, do a little bit more thing like machine learning on the voice recognition. So we can call either Google library, Google API.ai, or Watson, or we can use Alexa library. Uh, and the rest of the things, commands will be same. The similar uh, thing can be uh, used uh, for mind controlling. We can train this for controlling by mind. So if somebody is thinking far left, it will go left. It will oh, go right. Sort of the but uh, for that, I wow. need one emitter. OK. That will be next year. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's amazing. Who is next? Yeah? So let's start with, who are you? Oh, hi. Um, I'm Alvin, and this is Sam. Um, our third member of the team is Wei Liang. He's somewhere out there having lunch. And um, our bot is a party bot that's going to dance and um, end with a surprise. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Okay, yeah. Uh, so, hi, this is Terry, and this is my partner, Mayfi. Uh, we have another one, uh, Para. I uh, couldn't find him. So, this is what we make. Can you run it? Uh, this is the LED stripe. Can you see what's on it? Cannot, right? Okay, what if I spin it? Out. <laughs> Intermittently. That's the idea <laughs> is. Uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, what uh, the idea is you, you're supposed to see something. <laughs> So this doesn't seem like a robot. <laughs> How is this a robot? It, it, it's, this is a robot who can uh, have this uh, uh, one-dimensional thing as a two-dimensional degree uh, 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 display. Had you intended that the robot have its own arm to do this with? Uh, it's actually, it's harder to, to uh, use a human spin because uh, you don't have a, a, like a steady RPM. It's That's the idea. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Very cool. Okay, how do we do on the? It's uh, they've called tech support apparently. <laughs> 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 uh, 
All right. Do you want to have another go at this one, or is this? I guess that's the devil god. <laughs> No? Are, we, are we giving up, or is it? All right. This might be an appropriate moment. <laughs> Ying Dan? No, if you want, you can. <laughs> hang on, you hang on. Here, you can, this is something, this is what you're supposed to see. Oh, OK. Uh, we're not seeing it. No, this camera. Uh, aha. Ah, so sort of text. Yeah, it's JS. Oh, I see. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> Version two. <laughs> okay, so um, this is me attempting to pronounce names this time because my co-host has already gotten his turn. So. I'm just repeating the names uh, for those who have been, uh, who's had their lightning talks being selected. So first up is Yu Zhu Chua. Uh, the second person is Annam Ahmed. The third person is from Karim Mano. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry if I mangled any of your names. Um, the fourth person is Shi Ling Tai. Uh, the fifth person is Yoshua Views. Views. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and the sixth person is RJ Al Albo. Yeah, that's, that's it. So if your name has been caught, uh, you really should show up at the 2.45 time slot where you'll, be, you'll be, uh, have a chance to actually talk about your lightning talks. Great, great. Thank you. Hopefully, all six people have heard at least one of those announcements. So apparently, this final party bot, having now built up the expectation, is going to dance for us. <laughs> this needs some music. <laughs> I, if I sing, everybody will leave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the most exciting part of the dance hasn't yet happened, and I think all the electronics just fell apart. <laughs> That's cheating. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> but also effective, yes. <laughs> Anything else? We have a few minutes. Would you like to talk about things that didn't, didn't work? Um, yeah. Uh, so one of the ideas was, um, so one of the ideas we had was uh, to do, uh, there was a uh, sound controlled, uh, so, a, so a sound controlled audio equalizer kind of thing, but with, with actual uh, like uh, LED neo strips. And one, one thing we found out was the, the board or the sensor that we were, we were using was not, not that powerful enough or the quality was not that good. Uh, so we were unable to do it. Uh, one of the other things we tried was like a Nerf gun that you can shoot. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the, other, the problem there was there was a thing in the Nerf gun, one in, in the Nerf gun that we had, you have to charge it or do some action beforehand. And that was, it, it was not only a trigger. So that was a hard thing to. So you need a sort of IoT optimized Nerf gun. Yes. Um, so those were, those are the things we tried. Well, we did try, we, I think we lost many boards on Arduino Nanos and Unos trying to make these things. And yeah. That's hard um, Yes. Um, I think that's pretty much all that we tried. Did try. Yeah, I don't think so. All right, well, it was fantastic. I think uh, can we have a huge round of applause for actually making hardware work. That's always tough. <laughs> <laughs>